anterior interosseous nerve, Benedictine sign, OK sign, a patient with a high median nerve injury or anterior interosseous nerve injury can have two signs, the Benedictine sign and also inability to do the OK sign. So how do you do the Benedictine sign? The patient with a complete anterior interosseous nerve injury or a high median nerve injury will be asked to make a fist. The first digit and the second digit will have difficulty in flexing. The other digits, 4 and 5, will flex. The third digit appears weak. The hand will assume the Benedictine sign or sign of benediction, which is the position during hand blessing. Hand of benediction is different from underclaw hand. Underclaw hand refers to damage to the under nerve and is seen when attempt to extend all digits, leaving the four and five digits flexed. So what is the OK sign? Ask the patient to touch the tip of the thumb and the index finger together. If the distal phalanx cannot flex because of weakness of the anterior interosseous nerve, then the patient cannot do the OK sign. That is because of weakness of the flexor pollicis longus and the flexor digitorum profundus. This complication can occur from a distal humeral fracture in children. The anterior interosseous nerve arises from the median nerve about 4 to 6 cm distal to the elbow, which is about one third down the forearm. The anterior interosseous nerve exits from the anterolateral aspect of the median nerve. The anterior interosseous nerve runs between the radius and the ulna on the interosseous membrane between and below the muscle of the flexor digitorum profundus and the flexor pollicis longus. It supplies three muscles, which lies in the deep compartment of the forearm. It is the flexor digitorum profundus, the flexor pollicis longus, and also the pronator quadratus. The flexor digitorum profundus for the index and long finger is supplied by the anterior interosseous nerve. The medial part of the profundus muscle is supplied by the ulnar nerve. The profundus have dual innervation. The anterior interosseous nerve passes dorsal to the pronator quadratus with the anterior interosseous artery and provide innervation to the volar wrist capsule. So the terminal branches of the anterior interosseous nerve innervates the joint capsule. Some more important points. Patient with Martin Gruber connection of the median nerve or the anterior interosseous nerve to the ulnar nerve at the forearm. This patient may present with intrinsic muscle weakness. Also the anterior interosseous nerve palsy should be differentiated from acute brachial neuritis. Patient may have pain in the affected extremity. Another point in anterior interosseous nerve entrapment, the median nerve conduction study result will be normal. However, the needle EMG of the anterior interosseous nerve will be abnormal. It is a motor nerve and not a sensory nerve. Thank you for listening. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.